Solo Opera Company's newest production opens this Saturday. The lyric, Romeo and Juliet, one of the most popular of Shakespeare's tragedies. Indeed, this classic performance features singing, acting, sword fighting, and it's at sword fighting practice that 11 News reporter Jennifer Franciotti caught up with some of the actors. Right at shoulder level. Go ahead and go. Matthew Hayward and Stephanie Woodling are perfecting one of their fight scenes in the Baltimore Opera Company's latest production at the Lyric, Romeo and Juliet. I play Gregorio, who is the laquais or the valet to the Capulet family. I play Stefano. Um, I'm Romeo's obnoxious and troublemaking page. Not only are the two powerful singers and actors, but in a short time have become accomplished sword fighters. Their routine lasts only 23 seconds, but each second takes a half an hour of instruction. Choreo choreographing the, the, the thrusts and parries with the footwork, it's, it's like a dance. I love it. Of all the things about being an opera singer, that's probably one of the highlights of everything, because you get to sing, I have a big sword fight in this, so it's, 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 the, it's the tops. Louis Shaw is the fight director for the Baltimore Opera Company. He trains daily with some 35 cast members who have sword fighting scenes in Romeo and Juliet. Louis says safety is key. Teach them technique, teach them a lot of safety, and then make it nice and exciting. Louis is more than the instructor. He actually handmade all of the weaponry specifically for this production. I make uh, weapons for most of the major theater companies in the country and most of the major opera companies. I have uh, designed five Broadway shows. Beautiful weaponry, and Stephanie says it's a beautiful show. Romeo and Juliet opens this weekend. It's a great first opera, primarily because the story is so well known. The music is gorgeous, and in this case, we have this spectacular cast, fabulous voices, and it's it's just exciting to see it all on stage. Jennifer Franciati, WBAL-TV 11 News.